Hey everyone, today I wanted to unbox and show you my latest haul from Craftably. So I only discovered Craftably a couple months ago and I really liked their kits. Uh, at the time they came in those telescoping tubes, which were really cool. Now you can still get the tubes, it's just an add-on. Um, but I wanted to show you how they look now that they come in boxes. So I placed an order. First of all, all of their packages come with the most adorable, like, packaging. Look, they even have this adorable Craftably tape. I mean, it just makes you all excited. I don't know. So, let me show you guys. Because I don't think when I did my last one... Oh, there's my hoodie in the way. I don't think I showed you guys the packaging. So, first of all, they take a lot of care to make sure nothing moves around. So see, my kits are way down here and they had all that bubble wrap in there. So I appreciate that. Okay, let me pop these out. And like I said, I had purchased when the tubes were still just part of the kit. And I believe uh, the uh, tubes are like $15 now. And like they even put a little note on your invoice. Um, they are a small business, and this is a handwritten note that they put on all of their like orders and stuff. So I think that is so cool. They are based out of Texas. So yeah, here are the kits in boxes. Now I grabbed these two here. So I love that they have a big sticker right here. It's actually a little easier to find than Diamond Art Club because Diamond Art Clubs is at the bottom. And when I'm going through like my stash, I have to pull the, the box all the way out. So I grabbed these two here. Um, I'm going to explain this one in a minute because this, this one is so not me. Um, and then I got this one um, from Jasmine Beckett Griffith. But let's take a look at each one. Now I am going to leave a link in the description below to their site. If you are a first time buyer of Craftably, I do have a coupon for 20% off, but that only applies to first time purchases. So after that, um, you know, if you've purchased from them before, that's not going to work. But I will still leave a link in the description below. So I'm gonna pull that out. Oh, my little kit's back down here. Okay, so we're unboxing the Frog Loving Felicia, <laughs> the name. Um, but yes, I am an affiliate with Craftably, um, and if you use my link, it does give me a little percentage of money for your purchase, which just helps uh, go towards my channel so I can do things like this, purchase um, kits or products and review them, you know, and just... Overall, it just helps my channel. So they have like this lovely felt canvas. It's always taped together. But let's talk about the toolkit, okay? Most companies just send you a plastic baggie, but they send these burlap sacks in purple because that's their signature color. And these sacks are so adorable. And no, I'm not just like selling you on the sack because I'm an affiliate. I actually, this is one thing... When I first tried them, I was like, oh my gosh, that is adorable. Um, and you can reuse these. And, you know, I've seen a few people show how they repurposed them into gift bags. I actually use them to store things. So let me show you what's in here, or at least in this one. Okay, so all of their kits come with their little round, craftably red, or I'm sorry, pink wax. And then random washi tapes. I got two red stripes Ooh, those would be good for christmas i'm gonna save those ones for christmas their cover minders are so stinking cute so they come in this um oh, let me get my exacto knife they come in the little plastic tin now sometimes they the magnet falls off just glue it back on um you know things get jostled in shipping oh come on oh <laughs> hold that thought Gotta love when I have nails. It makes it harder to get things open. I'm like, I don't want to break a nail opening this. Okay, so here's this. Oh, it's like a little, um, look at that. 
This is super cute. Oh, that's a strong magnet. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at that thing. Woo! But look at that. That's a cute cover minder. With that little guy right there. Okay. Now in your kit, you have the plastic baggie. And like I said, this is what normally you get from other companies is a baggie with everything in the baggie. So, but they send the burlap sack. So they have sent me a placer tool, which has, I think that's a four placer on there. And then we have another multi-placer and a six placer and then a little purple squishy that protects your hands they're a little there we go <laughs> i'm gonna like finagle it on there some more pink wax a tray and tweezers now the cover minder and tape you're gonna get is random so keep that in mind doesn't necessarily go with the canvas okay so Let's look at this bad boy. Okay, so here is the stickers. Wow, this is 53 colors, huh, interesting. Um, okay, so you get this little sticker, which I like to put in my log book, and then you get a bunch of just cause stickers, like they even say log book. And then they have big old labels, so if you don't like the tiny print, that makes it easier. Look at all those colors. Wow, I'm surprised this is 53. Now, this little pamphlet just kind of tells you, you know, basics of diamond painting and then other accessories you can get from them. Okay. Let's pull this out so you can see the canvas. Now, this is poured glue, so you can roll this backwards, which is what I'm going to do right now to try and get some of the wrinkles out. These will level themselves, but still. Okay, so here she is in all her glory. What size is this? Let's see. At the top it says craftably, and then at the bottom you will see the name of the artwork and the artist, and this is, sh this is showing that it was legally licensed um, to be used. And then this is an 18 by 24, not a bad size. Something I prefer to tackle. But yeah, so this is not something I would normally buy. Um, this image, I mean. However, my mother is obsessed with green, obsessed with frogs, and she even wears glasses. So I actually bought this one and I was going to uh, paint it and give it to her as a birthday gift. So yeah, this is um, going to be a birthday gift for my mom and I thought that would be really cute for her. And then I have a place to actually send one of my kits off to as opposed to my kids just claiming them all. Now, <clears throat> I know they said they're going to soon be switching to um, the pre-packed vacuums, or not vacuum, but automatically sealed um, packages for their diamonds. But in the meantime, they come in a bag, and look, we've got rhinestones. So this is not AB, like we've got actual rhinestones in this one. And this is, ah, it's always at the end. So this is the up symbol. Oh, it looks like it goes around this the flower here. I see some, and the flower up here. Yeah, so it looks like it accents all the little flowers. Let me see if I can show you some of these ABs, because we've got, let's see, three ABs. Here they are. Nope, I want to keep these in order. <laughs> so we have a white AB. Ooh, a green one. I've never had a green AB. Look at that. And AB just stands for Aurora Borealis. Kind of mimics the uh, Aurora Borealis effect. Look at that yellow. Whoop. Those are jam-packed. So yeah, they're all in little baggies. So we're gonna have a lot of sparkle on this one. I'm gonna keep that close for now. And then these are nice sticky canvases. But let's roll this one up and then let me show you the other one. Okay, so this is our Jasmine Beckett Griffith one. Again, we've got a canvas bag let's see what's in there I know I totally forgot to mention 
That last painting was round, but they still give you tweezers with your round um, kits and your, your square kits. So, I mean, basically, eventually, you're going to have more tweezers than you know what to do with. And pink wax. That's just a fact of diamond painting life. Um, so, let's see. This one came with... Oh, those are pretty washi tapes. That The butterfly one is really cute. And this orange one actually might go well with that green canvas I just did. Nice contrast. Oh, my cover minder. So, see here what I mean? The, sometimes these jostle around in the, the plastic. And so it pops off, but I just take my hot glue gun and I glue it back on. You could use tacky glue. Any craft glue will glue it back on. Um, but look at this. It's a little hedgehog with a freaking rose bow. Oh my gosh, that is so adorable. Let's see, I'm going to get some glue and glue that one back on. Oh my gosh, that is adorable. <laughs> that one's super cute. I love their cover minders. Okay, so this one looks like the stickers are on the outside. So let me see what's up here. Oh my gosh, look at the printing on this one. This one's huge. Oh, so we've got a new style. Okay, so here are the stickers. These things are huge, which is nice because the teeny tiny print oh kills me when I'm like looking at my everything I've um, set up from far away. <laughs> And so this is my logbook st um, sticker. This is the Captive Fairy by Jasmine Beckett Griffith. This is a 20 by 28. And I can't remember if I selected round or square, to be honest. Um, I usually, when, I'm, when they give you the option between round and square, because Craftably does let you choose, I usually pick whichever has more ABs. <laughs> so... Um, if it's got more ABs in the round one, then I pick that one. So that's how I make my choices. Um, but I can't remember which one I did for this one, so let's find out. Okay. Now this one is a 20 by 28. Oh, look at that rendering. I picked square, so that must have had the most, because I don't often pick square. Okay. Look at this. So one thing I really like about Craftably is the way they've rendered the Jasmine Beckett Griffith faces. Um, I had a really bad experience with the Diamond Art Club one. Uh, I have been told that the newer ones from DAC are rendered better, but um, it was like my first diamond painting ever and the face looked awful because of the way they rendered it. Um, I really like the way Craftably renders their images. And also, you will notice Craftably's kits typically use a, a pretty decent number of colors, but that's because of the way they've rendered these out. Um, but yeah, look at her face. You can just tell by looking at it that this is going to be a fun one. And look at these colors. Now, this is a pretty saturated canvas. However, I can read the symbols perfectly fine. They're in white. Some are in black if the color is lighter. So they like take that into consideration when they are picking the color of their font. And I appreciate that because like in this light pink, if they used white, I'd be like, what on earth is that? So while it's really saturated in color here, you can always read the symbol. And let's see, it looks like we have quite a bit of color blocking. Thank goodness, my favorite. <laughs> Do have some confetti up in here, but that's expected. Let's see. For the most part, these are pretty chunked together, so that'll make it easier. And then it's got a nice, like, sparkly effect to the glue. So it's already sparkling. Let's see. I'm going to take a look. Yeah, so there's three ABs in this one, so that's probably why I picked the square. I'll show you the ABs. Oh my gosh, look at just the array of colors here. Now this is going to be a darker canvas. Okay. But normally these, like I said, they did say they're going to upgrade their bag soon. Okay. So we have a green AB here. Ooh. A yellow. How funny, my last kit was pretty much similar to that. 
at those. And then the white. So I think, let's see, what symbol is 47? It's N. Oh, so we're gonna have these ABs all through the wraps around her body. Oh, that'll be really cool. Let's see, 46 is seven. Where are we gonna see seven pop out? I mean, it's yellow. Okay, we're gonna have it in the accents around this green moon, it looks like. I'm really excited that there's ABs in every single wrap on her body. And then number 45 is O. So it looks like we'll have some in her eyes, some shiny in her hair and her wings. Yeah, so good placement of those. And the nice thing about them coming in the baggies like this, by the way, is, you know, I obviously kit these up and put them in um, bottles or whatnot because I don't work straight from the bags. But when I'm ready to, you know, de-kit or whatever, I already have these labeled and I can just put them back in there and save them if I want in case something pops off later or just reuse the baggies. But... I know some people work straight from the baggies, and I wish I could, but I bought those Emma Ward storage containers. Uh-oh, I see a loose black. Let's make sure none of my blacks have a hole. Black is 310, by the way, and look how many of those I have. <laughs> yep, it's 310. I, that's the one I have memorized, because I keep picking paintings that do that. I'm just making sure these are all sealed because I saw a lone, a lone straggler. Look at that. These things are full to the brim too. Oh my gosh. And the other reason I don't like to work straight from the baggies is you get static more often. But if you get static and you work from the bags or even from the plastic bins, just snip a little piece of dryer sheet, put it in there, shake it up and say bye bye to this static. Okay. Oh, this one is so pretty. So pretty. The colors, everything. I'm so excited, especially because of the fact that I'm going to get my sparklies all up in her outfit. So that's going to really pop. Dang it, I want to start this one next, but I, I want to start my other craftably first. The huge one that's got like a bajillion confetti. <laughs> Very nice and sticky. This is so lovely. I can't wait. I can't wait. So yeah, that is Captive Fairy. Um, and apparently I went with this the square shape for more or ABs. Like I said, if they give me the option to choose, I just see which kit has more ABs because I want sparkle. Now, could you go and order from those private places that you know allow you to get ABs? I could order any of these colors in an AB from um a custom company but I am just not that <laughs> oh what's the word it's not that I'm lazy but I am it's not that I'm not creative because I am it's just that's too much effort I want to use what I paid for basically I think is my big thing I paid for the kit so I want to use what the kit came with and um yeah and I am too lazy to just customize <laughs> So <laughs> that's the other problem. But yeah, so I just go with the one that has the most ABs and that was it. But really excited to do this one. Um, I love the big font though, because when I put them on the Emma Ward storage containers, they're huge. So you can put stickers on them. But I swear, like sometimes when you have the kit, you know, your little jars far away, you can't see it. So you have to bring them up close and be like, what number is that? <laughs> so you will have no guessing game here. And then all this is extra. If for some reason something spills over into another container, you can just use this as an extra label or put this on your baggies when you are done if you're storing them all. So that is my latest Craftably haul. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below to their website. And I will also leave you a link to... Um, my coupon code but again that only applies if you're a new customer you'll get that 20 percent off so otherwise you will only um you can only use that code once but thank you all for hanging out with me let me know if you purchased either of these and how they turned out um 
I'd love to just hear your opinion on them. And then also, if you have gotten any other Craftably kits, because I am really digging the way they render their images. Um, and just, oh, I can't get over this, these burlap bags. <laughs> packaging, people. Packaging is everything. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments below. And until next time, take care. Bye now.